what is going on everybody thank you for clicking the link this is your boy crisis 20 that's lulu over there she's going to be guiding you guys around with the product while i talk all right guys so let's get this started so i got a camera here all right it's made by nikon it's a d3300 18 through 55 vr 2 kit all right guys so basically this camera is meant for entry level um shooting if you're just getting into photography and you're just getting started guys this is the perfect camera okay so now we have the lens all right so it comes with the lens so it's basically af which is autofocus dash the s the s is for single servo all right so basically it's for standard shots uh niker 18 through 55 millimeter so basically that's the eye the, the eye point of the um lens and then you have the f that f slash 3.5 dash 5.6 g so basically the f is basically called focal length all right so this is a unit or a measure of aperture all right so this is a fixed zoom lens all right so basically the less the f number is on a camera the better it is the less the number the more of a close-up shot you have and it's gonna leave and and it's gonna leave you with a blurry background all right so that's kind of the way I wanted to go. That's the type of lens that I needed. I want to get a blurry background in my shot. So I think this is the lens I would kind of need for what I wanted to do. The F number, the closer it is to, you know, zero, I guess, if that's the case, it's going to have a faster shutter speed. All right. So and, and it's going to absorb more sunlight. So be careful of that. The more it is away from one or two, then you're looking at a more farther out shot, but it's going to get the background too when you do take pictures with this camera. So it's going to get the background as well. The G basically means it's gilded, lack of an aperture ring. So it's really not important unless you really, unless you really use a old manual focused film camera so i mean g is really not important um vr all right so that's vibrate resistance and two is just the number i guess they had a previous version of this whatever so this is just the second version i guess all right so that just explains that um so let me i'm gonna show you guys the box here so as you can see that's just the front of the camera i mean the camera All right, so that's how the box look like. So let's um, open it up, see what's inside. All right, so as you can see, there's a CD. Comes with a CD and a booklet. All right, manual. All right, looks like this is the actual camera here. So as you can see on the front, it says Nikon F mount. So that's the type of mount you need. So when you get your lens, make sure it's an F mount. So that way it's compatible with what you're trying to use it for. Let's unscrew the lens, the cap, sorry. All right, so that's what it looked like without the lens. Okay, go ahead and cover it back. All right, so let's circle our way around here. So as you can see on the side, um, there's a mic. Um, so if you flip it open, you can see a 33.5 millimeter uh, slot there that you can do for your mic. All right. Also, they have a HDMI out. So if you look inside, all right, it has the HDMI. And also that other one above it is probably um, a converter, probably to hook it up to the TV. So that's probably what that is. On the back, you have the LCD screen. I'm sorry, LCD screen. All right, so showing the features. All right, all right, got the OK button, got the garbage button there. Looks pretty smooth. All right, let's go to the next side. 
all right so you have your sd card here guys so your sd card if you open it up there's a slot inside so you put your micro sd card in there all right. you have your your dial here your dial have all the features and effects that your camera can use so it has all that and um and i guess on the top of it that little metal part you have you could put a flashlight a microphone on top of there that metal part um, right there at the top so that's what that little thing is for here so that's pretty much the D3300 in itself guys so um, let's move on to the lens all right so that's the this is the Nikon lens all right so this is the cap in front if you undo the cap press it in on both sides and it'll open up for you and the lens is right there very beautiful lens clean we all want to make sure that it doesn't have dust on it because it could affect your shot so that's why it has a cap on it for all right all right so that's good it's locked in so these are just the features of the of the camera all right so that's the uh so as you can see, it has the vibrate resistance on or off. So basically if you are standing and you are shooting whatever you're shooting at, like, you know, as far as um, what you're doing. So if you are doing it without a tripod, you want to make sure that the vibrate resistance is on. If you do have a tripod, you could just turn it off. All right. So that's that. Comes with the Nikon strap. All right, so it comes with the strap. So that's gonna be around your neck and stuff like that. So that is cool. Uh, that's the, comes with a battery charger. All right. No, yep, that's how you plug it in. All right, so so this is the part I was telling you about, guys, that where you plug in your TV. So you would just plug in the TV with those two, uh, the yellow and white cables. All right, yellow would be video, white is audio. All and you have your USB, all right? So basically this is the part where it goes into the computer. So that's that. So basically I got all of this for, oh, I forgot, um, the battery itself. All right, so. Um, so I got all of this for 389. I'll, I'll put the link below just to show you guys uh, where I got it from. I, the retail price, if I'm not mistaken, is six, $600. And I think I got a real, real good deal on it. So um, I went ahead and purchased it. So it's not that bad. So this is what it came with also. Came with a bag. All right. Uh, Zek, Zekos bag. Zekos bag. <laughs> all right. So that's what it, what's the inside look like? All right, so I got two compartments in there. It looks like a strap too, it has. So that's pretty cool. And I guess you can um, take out that middle slot too. That's just salt to throw away. Um, oh yeah, you can move it too. Oh, okay, it has a removable. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, you could got a side slot here. Slide po side pocket. It has a side pocket here. And a side pocket on the side here too. All right, so. And it also, and also I got the, oh yeah, the back. 
Yeah, the back got one too. Little pocket. It also came with a professional SD card too. So that's the SD card here. Um, basically, it's a SDHC. Um, it, it's a UF UHS I. So basically, if you look on the front of it, it's a ultra high speed. All right. So um, basically, you have better performance in the SD card. All right. So it's professional 16 gig. So can't go wrong there. So that's what it came with. So basically, this is everything in the hole that you know I got and it came with and stuff like that to set up or put the accessories on your Nikon. First, we want to take off the front cover lens. All right, so now that the front cover lens is off, we then want to take off the cover of the lens itself on the back. Okay, now if you look on the camera itself, you'll see a white dot. So you see the white dot on the camera. It also has the same dot on the lens itself. So all you have to do is align the two dots together. Once you align them, just slide it to the left until it clicks. To take it off, you'll see by the same dot on the camera, there is a little trigger, a black trigger there. So all you have to do is just push it in and then release the lens to the right. And there it goes. All right, now for the battery. All right, we want to get the door open. So you push the door left, that little hinge thing that you see. All you have to do is just put the Nikon battery inside with the arrow down, show the arrow. Show the arrow. So you're gonna put the arrow down into the uh, slot there and press it in. And close the, all right, to release the battery, you wanna open the door again. So now the door is open. And then there's the yellow, there's the yellow trigger there. You want to push it inward, and the battery will automatically come out. Now for the SD card, it's labeled card on the uh, on the left hand side there. So go ahead and open the door to the left, and then. You could go ahead and slide the SD card inside. And to take it out, just go ahead and you want to press it inward and it'll automatically come out. So that's how you put in your SD card. So that is how you put your accessories on your Nikon D3300. Here are some pictures and videos I shot using my new Nikon D3300. Enjoy! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah.